Why did you roll Simon Bridges? Because from my perspective, uh, we're in the greatest crisis of a generation and I didn't believe that he could win. And why was that? Why did you think he couldn't pull it off? Well, I think there were um, a number of things. I mean, part of it was in, you know, we saw the public polls in terms of uh, his approval. But we also saw the public polls pre-COVID as well, and 43.3% is pretty bloody good. Well, I mean, from my perspective, again, you, you take into account various information. Part of it is, was his negative approvals. Part of it was the feedback from the public. Part of it was our party vote. These are all reasonable things. I mean, ultimately here, this isn't tiddlywinks. We're fighting for our future. And we had to make a decision which was, are we going to be able to... Uh, get a national government, which national, which the country need. We need to be able to um, fight and help those small businesses out there. We need to be able to have people in work. And we made that decision, and it's very, very hard for all involved, but ultimately New Zealand need a national government. How long were you plotting that? Because about half a dozen MPs, National Party MPs, have told me this week that if it wasn't for a year, it was at least months that you were plotting. Well, that, is not, that is not correct at all, Tova. What I can say to you is that, um, as I've said before, uh, we were looking at at the polls and that was not a year. It was not even months. I, we, we literally were waiting to see what that polling information showed because we have a moral obligation to do something because uh, New Zealand need a national government. I mean, we've got a government right now for which we're in Level 1. We haven't had any explanation uh, by the Prime Minister exactly why we're in Level 1. We're shedding jobs. We've got a really difficult economic situation. As you know, the Deputy Prime Minister is out there uh, making comments about the fact we should be in Level 1. We don't have any clarity about the Trans-Tasman border.